it's not just a, a story about where you end up, it's a story of how you get to become who you are. Difficult, isn't it? Hmm? Sharing paradise with a stranger. This film, the actors are just outstanding. And I think that uh, over time, we need to look at Nicole as a cherishable wonder. Tell me they will place my son upon my chest so that he may go peacefully within his first moments of life. I wanted you to have an opportunity to hold Nicholas. That was probably my primary motive, which was also not a motive I was going to sh share with you at that time. I felt him. I experienced a mother's love, which goes beyond any sort of disability or retardation or abnormality or otherness. And that I felt like I was willing to take that on. Your films always have such depth to them, and they're all very dear to me, but Elena Undone is my all-time favorite. In love, one and one are one. Seldom do we get the opportunity to witness the art in love, but that is what we all really desire. Not just to be loved, but to be loved in that all-encompassing, one true love soulmate kind of way. I too have met my soulmate now, I've been with 12 years. We've watched this movie thousands of times, I know it word for word. After I watched Elena that night, a paradigm shift inside me. My life before Elena, and my life after Elena. Pretty sure I've seen it 200 plus times. I've watched Elena Undone so many times, but each time I watch, I see something that I've missed. I watch this movie, I risk myself to say every day. <laughs> your partner, your, um, gay. 
I don't want you to think that it's problem for me because it's really not. It's one of my go-to films. Um, it it's funny, it's witty, it's passionate. The longest kiss was hot. And the most beautiful one is the one about that first kiss. Colcon really captures the essence of sensuality, romance and intimacy that's often overlooked or completely missed in films. Maybe you're just straight. A really beautiful story. I think as a younger um, woman to see kind of more mature women on screen as well kind of gave me hope that I could have a happy ending. That Lea Eden changed my life to come out of that closet. Your movie gave me hope. Gave me hope. Gave my confidence back. It gave my power back. And what makes it so perfect is that chemistry there is between the actresses. In some scenes, it splashes off the screen. Make love to me, baby. Once we go there, there's no going back. This is such a beautiful Nicole Kahn movie that I hope everybody gets to watch this because it's fantastic and you leave with your heart feeling full. unique as a director is that she cares so much about the actors and about the input from the actors and it's really rare in Hollywood. I learned a lot from Nicole about I think what really good acting is. Nicole has a very distinctive directorial approach and she also works with her actors very very closely so she understands you and she understands like when you need a push or when you need to maybe take a minute and, and get calm again. For sure there were a couple of moments during filming where she pushed me further than I thought I was able to go and I definitely saw her do the same for Barbara. Yeah, no, you're totally going to get us lost. Very complex. Harris and Jessica Clark are like, you know, Rhett Butler and Clark Gable. I mean, they fit so perfectly. Nicole was so affirming and, you know, she really is a very kind and loving director. As much as I say as Nicole like pushes you and she makes you go there, she does. But she also kind of knows when to make it safe and she also gives you a lot of positive um, feedback and reinforcement. Oh, yeah. We have to so okay. The pointillism cinema language is almost a new philosophy of mine. It's sort of like, what do we not see every day? I've never seen it in a movie before. When you watch A Perfect Ending, you're going to see a lot of extreme close-ups that you're not going to know what they are. And so she forces the audience to look at the close-up and then eventually to see the bigger picture. Somebody once asked me um, what romance is, and I said nothing more than paying attention to details, and I really feel like that's what living life is about. But we go through it at such a hectic pace that we don't. 
That's one lesson that I'm taking away from this movie, is to look at all the different things in my life and see really how I can connect the dots, connect the pointillism. I think that's going to be huge for audiences to see, to consider and really think about the big picture that they're leaving too. Not only me, the entire audience was completely into the movie, riveted by it. I heard people coming out saying, that is the best movie I've ever seen. Absolutely the best movie I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I have seen everything that Nicole has done, and I think this is by far the best movie she's ever done. Some lines that just went straight to my heart. It's like they went from God to Nicole and to my heart. It's, it's amazing. It's a film for everyone. It really is. It's an absolutely fantastic movie for people of all ages. It just pulls on your heartstrings. I was very moved by the movie. I thought it was wonderful. It was incredibly powerful about love and what it means to be a mother. Just so heartwarming and inspirational and just such a fluid, spiritual, touching film. It's off the charts, mind-blowing, beautiful, spiritual, honest, real. I've never seen so many kinds of love dealt with in one movie, and I was absolutely blown away by it. I thought the movie was fantastic, and you know that I wouldn't lie because my mother is behind me. I loved all the dancing. This is, it was wonderful. I loved this film. It was artistic, it was spiritual, the directing was so cool of so many layers and levels. The acting was wonderful, the writing, the directing, the music. I loved the music. What a beautiful tapestry of stories. The imagery was just fabulous. All the shots, everything. I love the pretty vision. impressed with the young man who played Freddy. He just has so much charisma, he just shines on camera, the movie itself is just very well written, well put together. How can you not fall in love with little Kale? I was a special ed teacher for 30 years and all throughout the film I just kept shaking my head, having tears of just joy from what the little boy brought to the movie and I just can relate to it all throughout and it was just a beautiful movie. That's the thing I love about Cole's stories is that there's always a love story and it's deep and it's real and you can feel it and that's what I felt when I walked out of the movie is that I just witnessed an incredible love story. The love making was incredible. The way it came together so romantically and so beautiful, just seamless. It was beautiful. The most beautiful, sensual, and erotic, and beautiful. Yeah. The love scene with the dancing. It was so. It was just so rich and full and. It was amazing. I'm just, I'm, I am absolutely a Nicole Kahn fan. I think my new favorite Nicole Kahn movie, and I've seen all of them, and I love all of them, but this one was over the top, and there's, there's not another director out there who could have pulled this off. You're off the case. Off duty. 90 days. I have been a fan of Nicole's for many years, but I've got to say that this is just, her films just keep getting better and better. I, I have Claire the Moon at home, and Ellen at home, I'm like, I, I, any movie of hers that comes out, I have to purchase, because I just think they're amazing. It's very moving and inspiring. It makes you want to believe in true love again. So many emotions that I can hardly contain myself. But it's probably been the most beautiful movie I've seen in a decade. It is more beautiful. Everybody should see this. It touches the heart and the chamber. When I read the script, I fell in love with Nicole's brain. 
having seen the movie, I'm in love with Paul Hart. Strength of the filmmaker, I think, is the most most admirable thing I could possibly think of. I've watched her go through so many different things, adversity, and to come out like this is hats up to her. And everybody involved in the world, quality, quality, quality. This was awesome. I read the screenplay and it was very moving and nobody could have imagined how she would capture it. And I'm so proud. And it brought me to tears. And I'm so happy that you're still doing this. You know, because nobody can do it like you. <laughs>